Hello and welcome to another IC3D tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be creating a cup and then we're going to be adding artwork to that cup. But we're also going to be warping the artwork to match the cup itself. So we're doing a little bit of warp correction as well as creation of the cup. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to another IC3D tutorial. Today, we're going to be taking a look at creating a cup and then warping the artwork for that cup. So the first step we're going to do is creation of the cup. So first things first, we're actually going to be starting inside of Illustrator today. And what we're going to be starting with is our cup design. Now, I've previously created our cup for us today, and that is what you see here. What I've included was the interior. So uh, starting from the middle, moving over, and then adding again all the way up to the top, down, and to the right. What you're looking for is a half silhouette of your cup. So what this is, is again, cut right down the middle, and only the left side is what we're going to need. As when we export this out, going up to File, Export, Export As, and again, we're going to be exporting this out as a AutoCAD interchange file, a DXF. Once exported, head back to IC3D. And inside of here, we're going to open up our 2D spinner tool. This tool is what we're going to be using to create the cup itself. Starting with our import data, we're going to then import the cup we just exported from Illustrator. Hitting open and then making sure our units match whatever units we were using. Importing that, we're going to immediately see that we've got a very nice cup design fully fleshed out in 3D. Now from here, what we're going to want to do is make sure your horizontal divisions up at the top right are up around 200 for this project. And what we're going to do is we're going to call out an artboard area. By zooming in to the top, we're going to actually zoom in right onto the top node here, and we're going to go ahead and select it. From here, this option called Split Mesh at this point should unlock, and what we want to do is just select that button, and that should then turn that node blue. If it's blue, that means uh, we've done it right. Now from here, that's the start of our artboard. So I want to actually go down to the bottom and make another dot, or select another dot, and then do the same split. Now from here, I'm going to zoom on out. I'm going to hit Update Preview. And let's go ahead and add this to our scene. A menu should pop up called Mesh Split Options when adding this model to your scene. What this is going to be is this is where we can add in our artboard. So where we cut our mesh, where we cut our cup at the bottom and at the top, we can call out that middle section. As you can see, it's highlighted red in our preview. And then we can add a label for this section as well as compensating for the distortion. From there, hit OK, and that should then be added to our scene. From here, let's go ahead and give our cup a little color before we add our artwork. So starting with the inside, I'm going to go ahead and head to our model or our material library, go over to printed card, and inside of here we should have a nice matte paper. I'm going to drag that onto the interior of the cup, and since we cut it, it should only change the interior to a white. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and from here, I'm going to go ahead and assign the matte paper to my side as well. And for the bottom, I will do the matte paper as well. All right, now that we've got our cup colored, we're going to go ahead and add our art. Opening up our object editor, we do notice that we do have our spinner label mesh, and that is going to indicate that we have artwork ready to go. So we're going to hit that AI connection. And that should open up 
Illustrator. Now, the artboard that it opens up is going to be the artboard we're using for our warp guide. So this artboard here and the die line guide in blue have all been generated by IC3D for us. So all we have to do is match our warp guide and we should be good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our artwork. For this cup, I've got a nice picture of some pirates that we're going to go ahead and use. Now, from here, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and grab our art, head over to Object, go down to Envelope Distort, and make this with a warp. This is where we're going to go ahead and match our artwork to our die line. And for this, around 17% should be good for our bend. And again, we're using the arc style. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, once everything's looking good, what we're going to do is head over to Window, Extensions, and we're going to be using our IC3D Renderer V5 to update back to IC3D. Now from here, we're gonna open IC3D and giving it just a moment, going to hit F to view our front side, and then if you hold the G key and drag, you can actually rotate your objects in your scene. And from here, this is looking pretty good. Now, of course, now that I know my art is going to be a little more blue at the top and a little more green at the bottom, let's go ahead and make a couple of different changes to our colors. So what I'm going to do is add a nice light blue to the bottom ring. And then we're going to go into our matte paper for the inside, and we're going to go ahead and match the color of the top of the cup by going into our diffuse, hitting edit color, pick screen color, and in this case, we're just going to select around here on our clouds. Now with this, we can save this color as well in our custom colors, and then we can hit OK. I'm going to add a little less shine, and then I'm going to hit save. And now from here, we've now got a cup that is ready to go for any kind of render and artwork that's ready for print. 